Well, so there's a couple of ways of answering that. So one is that um, some people work both in AML and sanctions. Some people dedicate themselves just to one function or the other. But if we ask, what's the difference between sanctions and AML? It gets a little interesting. I tend to think of anti-money laundering as fundamentally being about illicit money, right? That comes into the financial system. Counter-terrorist financing is a little bit different, right? Because that money may be legitimate when it comes into the system, but it's going towards an illegal and often violent activity. Sanctions is yet a slight variation on both of these things. It's a financial crime, but it's fundamentally about the fact that the money may be legal and the ultimate endpoint may be legal, but the people or companies involved in the transaction may be sanctioned or a country or geography that it's being transported through ultimately is on a sanctions list. So sanctions is very related in many ways to AML and to counter-terrorist financing, but it's also its own separate field. And of course, there are lots and lots and lots of individual jurisdictional laws about sanctions. We'll be covering the major ones to make sure that people have a really strong global understanding of how sanctions work. Sanctions is not new to ACAMS. We've been you know, conducting sanctions courses for years. Uh, sanctions has been part of ACAMS from the beginning. Sanctions is in fact tested at a basic level within the CAMS exam. But over the last 10 to 15 years, sanctions regulations have become more and more complex. The fines have become larger. People have become dedicated just to that at organizations. So it's really time for us to recognize that specialty with its own designation.